Welcome everyone to Oh great now my camera is Okay there we go Welcome everyone to Homeworld Remastered and let me get the game's music here up there we go. Uh this is the first one not the second one. Uh I I got the uh, whole collection, so there's also Homeworld 2 remastered in this package. I don't know if it was what it was, bundle pack, whatever, but I never played... Well, I've played it once with Titan, a uh, member from Freelance and Discovery Community, uh, and I never understood the mechanics. It was so weird, because I'm coming from Sins of a Solar Empire, and uh, so this felt a little bit off for me. But uh, you guys know me with uh, space strategy games. That's my favorite, one of my favorite genres. So, let's get into the tutorial, see how far we come. Um, before I rage quit. Nah, I'm joking. But, uh, gameplay basics. Welcome to the Homeworld Training Mission. This tutorial will cover the user interface, camera control, unit selection, and movement. Our first priority is the taskbar. The taskbar provides you with a variety of information about what you currently have selected and provides you easy access to basic commands. Click OK to continue. At least I don't have to read it, right? You can minimize the taskbar by clicking on the flashing icon or pressing backspace. Do this now. To bring the taskbar back, keep pressing backspace. Do this now. Good oh. job. Okay, now I see it. The recall window displays all previous speech in the mission. Click on the recall icon to display all previous speech in the mission. To exit the recall window, click close. Throughout the game, objectives will be assigned to you. Objectives give you information on what you must accomplish in each mission. Click OK to continue. You right. have just been issued a new objective. To access the objective screen, click on the flashing icon. Do this. Good job. This is the Objectives screen. Click the Learn How to Play Homeworld Objective to get more information on it. Right. To exit the Objective screen, click on the Close button. To issue orders, you must first select the ships you want to command. Click OK to continue. Left-click on the Scouts to select them. Scouts selected. So New reinforcements up in their face, available. what's going on? A second scout squadron is launching. To select multiple oh, okay. squadrons, first hold down the left mouse button and then drag a box around both scout squadrons. Do this now. Excellent work. Notice that the taskbar has been updated with your selection. Yes. The taskbar lists all currently selected ships. Ships can be selected by left clicking, drag selecting, and by clicking on the ship icon in the taskbar. Left clicking. In order to master space combat, mm. you must first learn how to control the camera. Exactly. At this point, the camera is focused on a squadron of scouts. Click, hold down the right mouse button and move the mouse okay, to rotate that's the camera. Kind of like Do this now. Sorry. Excellent work. Click OK to continue. I hope continue I can move practicing the camera v rotation. W -A -S -T. When you are ready to move on, click OK. To zoom the camera, scroll the mouse wheel. Yeah. Or hold down both mouse buttons while moving the mouse forwards and backwards. Whoa, okay. Practice camera zooming. Practice camera zooming, there we go. Good work. When you are ready to continue, to pan the camera, move the mouse cursor to the edge of the screen. Do this now. Excellent work. The arrow keys on the keyboard also pan the camera. Now, pan the camera until the scouts are no longer in view. By the way, that didn't work. Oh, it's maybe because because I'm in uh, window mode. Uh, so wait. Strike group coordinates locked in. Okay. Good work. Click OK to continue. To focus the camera on a ship, press the middle mouse button or use the focus key. This nice. snaps the camera to the currently selected ship. In this case, the scouts. Excellent work. Oh, okay, I see. To focus on an unselected ship, hold down the Alt key and left-click on the object. Try this now. Well... I did. 
The next topic is the Sensors Manager. Sensors to activate manager. the Sensors Manager, press Spacebar or click on the Sensors The icon. Sensors Manager allows oh. you to see the game world from a much greater distance and is used for strategic movement and command of ships. Click okay. OK to continue. The two green dots represent the two scout squadrons. From the Sensors Manager, you can see distant objects such as these asteroids. The Sensors Manager also displays objective information. Click OK to continue. Camera control and ship selection work as normal in the Sensors Manager. Okay. All ships have a tactical overlay, okay. TO Go on. for short. Go on. TOs help identify friendly and enemy targets. Click OK to continue. Friendly ships will have green TOs. Enemy targets will have red TOs. Allies have yellow TOs. Mm. Click OK to continue. Tab cycles through all various TO settings. Some settings display more information than others. Experiment using the camera in the Sensors Manager now. To return to the normal view, press Spacebar. We will now cover ship movement. To effectively command your fleet, you must learn how to navigate 3D space. First, select a scout squadron. Okay, now, right-click on this group of asteroids to issue a right-click move command. Well done. Okay, that's very basic. Right-click movement now. orders a ship to move to a specified a landmark. For example, another ship, an asteroid, or a piece of debris. Remember, you can rotate and zoom the camera while issuing a move command. Click. The scouts have reached their destination. Okay. Ships can also be moved to any point in space. Click. To use the movement disk, right-click on empty space or press the movement hotkey, M. Do this now. Ready. Good work. Uh. The movement disk represents the current plane the selected unit is on. Right-click on a desired location to issue a move order. The ship will now move to its target destination. The next lesson will cover vertical movement. While right-click movement covers most situations, vertical movement is needed to gain tactical advantages. Click OK to continue. Bring up the Sensors Manager. Oh, shit. Strike group coordinates locked in. Shit, what was the... Uh... What was the Sensor Manager? Fuck, I forgot. Hold on. Uh... Okay, now that's really dumb. Uh, okay, sensor. No. Notice the ping on the map is above the world no, plane. Just the world plane is the horizontal the disc at the center of the map. Click How can OK I close to this? continue. To use vertical movement, first select a ship. I did. Acknowledge. Now bring up the movement disk by right clicking on empty space or pressing the movement hotkey. To raise or lower the destination point, hold down the left mouse button and move the mouse up or down. Order one of your ships to move. Good. Really? What? <laughs> okay. It's interesting. What? Are you guys moving? Strike this group moving into position. This tutorial. Practice using the camera, selecting ships, and issuing move orders. When you're ready to move on, click OK. Okay, mm, okay, whoa, well, that's a lot to keep track of. This yep. tutorial will cover resourcing, shipbuilding, and combat. To build ships and research new technology, you will need to harvest resources. Resources can be gathered from asteroids and salvage containers. Click OK to continue. Wait a second, that sound effect sounded really familiar. It's like I heard it in some To harvest, freelancer. select the resource collector and right click on the indicated asteroid. Do this now. Because this is the resource collector. Ready. Oh. Collection Excellent. confirmed. There you go. Additionally, pressing the harvest hotkey, H, will order selected resource collectors to harvest nearby resources. Oh, that's Production cool. ships, like this carrier, can right. build ships. Click the build button, B, to open the build manager. 
The currently displayed menu shows the available fighter class fighter ships class that can scouts. be built. You get scouts. Click on the scout icon to begin construction of a scout squadron. Okay. Notice how the progress bar increases, indicating the status of the current build task. Yeah. Click on the research button or the research hotkey, R, to activate the research manager. This is the research manager. Notice that Enhanced Scout Sensor technology is available for research. This improves. Scout. Click on Enhanced Scout Sensors to research Enhanced Scout. Each research item will unlock Let's new go. build or research options to enhance your ships. Nice. Deciding what to research or upgrade is critical for victory. Click OK to continue. Because we have to wait for... Uh... Scout sensor research complete. Stand by to begin combat lessons. A squadron of bombers has been constructed and an unarmed torpedo frigate has been provided. Click OK, okay. to continue. Uh, oh, that's... Oh, there it is. To attack a target, right. select the bomber squadron and right-click on the torpedo frigate. Order the bombers to attack the torpedo frigate I now. Know. I want to see the bombers. Nice. <laughs> okay. Uh, bombers. Acknowledged. Strike group to battle positions. Copy. Strike group to battle position. Enemy neutralized. Okay. To attack multiple enemies, hold well down control Jesus. and use the left mouse button to drag select a group of targets. Attack the three frigates now. Strike group coordinates locked in. Reporting. Standing by. Strike group attack order confirmed. Strike group prepare for assault. Wait. Confirmed. Strike group prepare for assault. Acknowledged. Strike group prepare for assault. So are they? Oh, okay. Now, okay. There we go. Congratulations. All right. You now understand all the basics required to play Homeworld. Nice. Was that all the tutorials or just one? Advanced commands. Okay. We're not, <laughs> we're not done yet. But uh, let me see how I'm doing with uh, time. Yeah, okay. Covers control group. Control. Oops. Whoops. Get Oops. sound Allow back. Allow you to okay. select a group of ships and assign them to one of the ten <clears> number <throat> keys. Click OK to continue. First, select the three squadrons of interceptors. Interceptors, huh? Oh, interceptors look really bulky. I would have imagined... Uh, bombers to look like that. Okay, I, well, I, well, I clicked. Now press the control key and the number one at the same time to assign the... You have now assigned that oh, group. No. Did it, did it, oh god. <laughs> okay, to continue. That's shit. That's what I binded my intro. Pressing oh. the number one twice will also focus the camera on the interceptors. Up to ten groups can be assigned, each corresponding to one of the number keys. Now assign the newly arrived bombers to group two. Oh, copy. Reporting. Right. Dude, if I, if I have to do... Actually... Group Excellent. Two. Actually, uh, yeah, that should be fine. Now, order Group 2 to attack the enemy frigate that is just hyperspaced in. Strike Group to battle positions. Acknowledged. Group 1 reporting. Strike Group. Prepare for assault. Group 2, prepare victory. Well done. The next lesson covers special actions. Special actions vary from ship to ship. The carrier that has just arrived has a cloaking generator. To use special actions, first select the carrier. This tab displays all special actions. Currently, 
only oh, the down here. ability icon is active. Press the cloak icon to activate Cloaking the carrier's cloak generator. Special actions are also activated via the shift menu. To access the shift menu, hold down shift and right click on a ship or empty space. Using either the special actions commands icons on the taskbar or the shift menu, order the carrier to decloak. Cloak field disengaged. Unlike cloak, some special actions require a target. This marine frigate is one such example. Marine, marine frigate. frigates are used to capture enemy ships. To capture an enemy ship, select the marine frigate and right click on the enemy frigate. You can also use the capture icon or the shift menu. Ready. Underway. Capture target acquired. Stand by for insertion. What? Stand by for contact. See you inside. Well, what does that mean? Like, can't this frigate just attack you and kill you? Or is it if you damage it so it can't move? Good question, though. I like that. This is really interesting. Reminds me of the uh, Royal Battle Cruiser of. Um, Encountering light of resistance. Empire. Let's finish this. Rebellion. Which also has the uh, option to take over ships. But obviously, Homeworld is uh, a lot older, so I guess they did the first. Good work, well people. Done. The bridge is ours. Bridge is ours. Reporting. Tactics will be covered next. Reporting. Idle ships will Definitely default to their tactics setting. Tac units set on aggressive will retaliate against all enemy targets. True. Ships on defensive will defend friendly ships but will not pursue enemy targets. This is the default yeah, tactic. Oh. Passive tactics order units to stand down. They will not engage the enemy under any circumstances. Tactics will also change the formations ships use. Click to change tactics for selected ships, click on the desired tactic on the taskbar. You can also use the tactics. Strike groups are tactical formations of ships designed to support each other in battle. Click OK to continue. Drag select all of these ships. Reporting. Now, select a strike group formation from the strike group rollout on the taskbar. Strike group. And because what? Yeah. Fuck. Lord. Oh. Fighter screen. Frigate land. Oh, defense. Stay sharp. Wait, actually, she said aggressive. Show no mercy. Right? Strike group coordinates locked in. Fuck. Okay, hold on. Uh... Weapon set to full power. I'm confused. Offensive. Show no mercy. New formation acknowledged. Stand down, we're on hold. Strike formation. Problem is I can't I can't click down. I have to do full screen. Okay. Well. Gotta get it. Stay sharp. Weapon set to full power. Well what? Do I have to uh wait. Strike group moving into position. Do I have to attack something? Dude, I'm so confused right now. What's wait? Was there was like an objective? Objectives. There we go. Click the flashing special action for icon. Assign the ships to a strike group. Assign the ships. You have to select the previous step to a strike group. The information hot keys are over full. But if, if I, you might also use a strike rollout located on the taskbar. Well, 
standing by. I'm pressing F7. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing happens. Passive. Weapon set to full power. Try group. I can't. Well done. Oh. Strike groups are wow, that was it. The collection of their parts. However, you will notice that a strike group will only travel as quickly as its slowest unit. Therefore, a strike group is a trade-off between speed and efficiency. Okay. Waypoints allow you to move your ships along specified paths. This can be used to move around asteroid fields or to set up. Click on the waypoint icon, hotkey W, to enter waypoint mode. While in this mode, you can queue a series of move commands. Your ships will move to each destination point in sequence. Practice this now. Waypoints can also be used to issue common commands such as attack or harvest. However, once a command is issued, the waypoint path ends at that point. To end the waypoint, simply click on the waypoint. You have now successfully completed the final nice, tutorial finally. for Homeworld. If you wish to practice these skills, you will be confronted by ever-increasing Vega strike forces. Actually, yeah, let's get... Let's have some action here. Um. Ready. I can't. Oh, there we go. Move the carrier to the uh, moving to destination. Roger. Destination locked in. Uh, so, where are the Vagers? Strike attack. Resource collector I had. Roger. Uh, Strike group coordinates locked in. Ross. Fuck. Okay, let's build one more. God fire facility. Oh. Let's get construction scouts. underway. Research. Stay docked. Well, I don't see any Wager. Do you? Or maybe we have to move? Scout squadron complete. Reporting. Yep. Confirmed. Uh, let's move here. Strike group moving into position. But that's the thing we just uh, took took over, but it doesn't move. What the hell? So they are just gonna casually move there. Roger. Oh. Well, I mean, we are done with the tutorial, right? Restart. Yeah, no, I think we're done. Exit the menu. There's no next tutorial, there's no restart. So let me see. We, we all did. Okay, we did all the tutorials. Good. Well, guys, that was Homeworld Remastered. Uh, now, if I remember correctly, this one is actually a campaign uh, compared to um, Stellaris and uh, Sins of a Solar Empire. Of course, Stellaris has this own kind of campaign which you meet other it's it's kind of like open world i mean it, it kind of is a campaign of your own if you think about that because you can do so much stuff you know, um genetic modification whatever uh you know diplomacies culture you have everything there but um as in an actually story mode i think uh home world is the only one uh 
out of these three of course that has an actual campaign so uh, we will definitely do that single player game there will be uh i don't know about player versus player if there is a player versus player on the old homeworld but we'll check that out too but uh, until then thank you guys so much for watching if you haven't subscribed subscribe please and i'll see you in the next video